Is accused of secretly watching women then raping them inside their homes. For years, all investigators had to go on was this sketch. But today, allegations against the former police recruit were read openly in front of a courtroom. Caitlin Ross listened to the testimony, and the lead investigator talked for more than an hour. In some cases, the victim's young children allegedly witnessed the attacks. Caitlin? It's eerie how similar all of the attacks are. Police say he always had a knife. He always took the victim's cell phones. He always threatened to hurt them. The detective testified these women reported nearly identical attacks, all of them sexually assaulted in their own homes and only two miles away from where Kenneth Bowen lived. She stated that a knife was put to her throat and she was told to cooperate. The detective detailed eight separate sexual assaults that started and ended the same way. He made her get into the shower in her bedroom, told her to run the shower and count to a certain number to give him time to get out of the house. And during this incident, he took her phone as well. And the horrifying details in between. And this uh, assault, she actually had an eight-year-old child who woke up in the residence from her making noise and attempted to block his mother's doorway. Um, he seen the offender try to flee from the residence and the offender then punched the child in the stomach. In another case, the woman's one-year-old child was in the bed with her during the attack. And threats were made to harm her child that was in the bed with her. She did not cooperate. In a third, the woman was nine months pregnant when she was raped. She delivered her infant the next day. She was you know, afraid that the baby would be harmed. Kenneth Bowen sat in the courtroom without expression as the detective detailed the massive investigation to find him. My lieutenant decided that um, we would start from, you know, the ground up. Let's start with suspicious persons calls. From there, they found Bowen's name and picture. A victim picked him out from the lineup. Bowen's defense only asked the detective one question about the evidence. Okay. Did you get any physical evidence from any of the knives that were taken from his vehicle? They are being tested at this time. After an exhaustive investigation, Clayton County Police say they're sure Kenneth Bowen is the man who committed these crimes. At 6, the detective explains why police feel the evidence has never been so certain.